Good morning. I forgot how dark it was in this car. It's like so wide open and you can see so clearly in the M3. <laughs> it's like really hard to see in this car. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. God, you already know, bro. I don't even need to say what's going down in this video. It's gonna be so sick. So I've had this car on the stock turbo for about, what, nine, 10 months, something like that, coming up on a year. And man, have I been trying to get a hold of a pure 800 turbo for the longest time. As you guys know, the pure turbos were backed up for quite a while. Long story short, I originally ordered a Pure 800 and then switched it over to a Pure 850 because I thought it would get here sooner, but they sent me a Pure 800. So, so I guess we're doing Pure 800. I have no problem with that. That's originally what I wanted to go with in the first place. So it's actually kind of nice that they did send the Pure 800. Before we get into anything, you guys, I want to say a huge shout out to Keys Motorsports, uh, Pure Turbos, and CES Motorsport. Ooh, 300Z. Fire, bro. Love me an old 300Z. Without any of those guys, none of this stuff would be possible and they help me out so much when it comes to parts and performance and dyno and tuning and all that stuff. These guys are the best. So just to break it down for you guys really quick, obviously we are doing the Pure 800 today. Um, this car is currently making on pump. I believe we're making mid 400s on E50. I'm making just over 500 to the wheels. We are going to be doing just the Pure 800 install today and then we are going to be doing tunes. I only use two tunes. I'm going to use a 93 pump gas tune and an E50 blend tune just like I do with my stock turbo. For me personally that is like the most ideal setup. It's very easy to manage. Also let it be known I'm not out here chasing any big power numbers. I don't really care about that. I just want this car to make good power reliably but I'm very confident with the period 100 turbo that we're going to be able to make some pretty awesome power even on pump. I also bought the installation kit so if you guys are looking for a period 100, period 50 or the install kit for this car I will leave it all linked down below. Go ahead and get your period turbo there for your 2020 or 2021 Supra. I'm currently running MHD on this car and we're going to continue to run MHD on this car for now. I'm tuning with Fabian over at Pure Boost. I'm really happy with the way that he tuned the car the first time and so for the time being uh, we're going to keep running with them. It's a great platform. I really do like MHD. I've never had any issues with it. Even their OTS maps are solid. When I run my 93 pump gas tune it's just a stage 2 93 pump tune and it's fantastic. The car drives really well just like around town and whatnot. There's no surging, no throttle closures but it also has really smooth power and the transmission feels great i'm not getting any slippage and my e50 tune is absolutely insane i love that tune it's like kill mode for this car it's just amazing to me that on these cars you just get a really good tune catalyst downpipe and a little bit of ethanol and dude they fly it's so wild how fast these cars are and how easy you can make them get that fast but yeah you guys this one's a long time coming i'm super excited for it um sit back relax enjoy the video grab yourself a cup of coffee it's gonna be a good one <laughs> Take us out. We decided to move this bar out of the way too so we can access the turb skis. Yeah, man, it's gonna be crazy. I'm actually gonna keep the turbo manifold heat shield off of the car because I'm gonna have it painted black. Look at all that accessibility, man. So easy to get to. So, Cademan is doing all the work today I'm on the Pure 800. I'm gonna do my best to stay out of his way and let him do it, but um, he said two hours, not a second longer. So, we're gonna hold him to it. Let's see, 831. Or no, is it 9.31? It's 9.31. 9.31, this is an hour behind. I'll say we started about mm, 10 minutes ago, but we'll, we'll give him a little 10 minute buffer. So we'll start the clock at 9.30. How about that? Can he get this Pure 800 Turbo install done by 11.30? Can I be on the dyno by noon? That is the question. Yes. Yeah, wow, okay. He says yes. That's all I need to hear. Keep you guys updated. But as always, guys, if you need anything done, um, this is the place to come, CES Motorsport. I like coming here because we do things like this. 
well for one they know what they're doing we do things like this and then we can go right over here and do things like that tune dyno get the car dialed we will be able to get the 93 pump gas tune done today with uh fabian over at pure boost get some good numbers with that and then um i think we're going to come back tomorrow and work on the e50 tune so when you guys buy this pure 800 or pure 850 highly recommend that you get the install kit comes with all of these like oem parts that you need gaskets seals lines um, it's going to make your life and their lives much easier when doing the install <music> y'all forgot how beautiful the underside is of this car. crunching baby <laughs> all right here we are you can see the wheel in there little guy big guy little guy big guy so we do have to transfer the wastegate and everything over Big guy. Little guy. Big guy. So awesome to see him out of the car. So excited for this. All right, we are officially one hour in. Another hour to put her back in. I think he's gonna be able to do it, guys. Two hour job, which is freaking crazy. But the B58, that is how it be on these cars. So we gotta transfer all the lines over and then um, the wastegate. It obviously comes with a inlet and everything. Don't need to worry about that. What do you think? Think you're gonna make it? It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. We're just doing the gaskets right now. Mm. All right, the new turb skis is in. There she is. Look how pretty she looks. You're doing a great job, bud. The downpipe is in. Oh, she's looking good. Intake in. You got the charge pipe? That worked out. Sweet. Sweet. On a scale of one to 10, how hard is it to install a Pure 800 turbo on this car? One being what, easy? Yeah. Three, four. Three or four. A lot easier with a lift. Oh yeah, way easier with a lift. You heard it there. So we're gonna let him finish up. Um, this is pretty much done. And we're gonna go ahead and pull the car over to the dyno. Fabian Pure Boost is going to be remoting in and we're going to knock out this pump 93 octane tune. We'll come back tomorrow. If we have time today, we'll do the E50 tune, but I think we'll come back tomorrow and do the E50 tune. Also just had a conversation with John up front uh, about doing port injection and we might switch up the controller. I have the AIS-2 controller right now to go into the port, but we're thinking of maybe doing the motive controller rather than doing the AIS-2. Lots of different reasons for that, but we'll discuss it a little bit later once we get into that video. Also, if you guys need any stuff done, dyno tuning, install, Supra, B58, N54, 335, BMW, make sure you guys check this place out. CES Motorsport, I'll leave the information down below. Huge shout out to these guys. Thank you so much for helping out. But just like that, we are officially Pure 800. So let's get to tuning. Just got the new tune file.
from Fabian over at Pure Boost. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and load it up into Flash Custom Map. There it is, Thick Whips Pure 800. We're gonna go ahead and run it. And we're done. <laughs> super fast. All right, so remember you guys, this is going to be my pump gas tune. Uh, it's not going to be like the balls to the wall tune. The balls to the wall tune is going to be tomorrow with E50. That's the tune that I'm really going to be running on the weekends and it's going to have the spice. This one's going to be a little more tame, 93 octane pump gas, simple everyday driving tune. And we'll be able to compare on the computer stock turbo numbers with the Pure 800 numbers. <laughs> and 510 torque that is straight up 93 pure 800 peaking at about 24 pounds of boost and 102 and a half degree ambient temps in the shop so that's not bad it's not bad yeah especially with the uh, temps solid numbers on straight 93 in these temps that's what i make on and that is the very first pull after installing the pure 800 with uh, the mhd map that we've been working on with fabian for the uh 93 octane and pure 800. Yeah, I'm really happy with that right yeah, now. For sure. I mean, to go straight to that after a bolt on and then right on the dyno yeah. uh, is pretty awesome. This isn't even my fast map. This is like my daily driving. I'm going to Target or Starbucks yeah. map. So I'm now making what I was making on the E50 with the stock turbo. I'm now making at pump with the pure 800. So we can just imagine going to happen when we go to E50 tomorrow. The green numbers that you're seeing here is the stock turbo pump gas tune MHD stage two off the shelf map. So you're seeing 445 and 500. 93 custom map with the Pure 800, you're going to see 506 and 509. So not the biggest jump in torque, but a massive jump in horsepower. And look at the temperatures, 81 degrees that we did the 93 uh, stock turbo run on and 102 degrees in the shop today. And on the first run, we haven't even made a revision. It's already making, what is that, 60 horsepower? Six, 60 more horsepower, over, which is just crazy. It's just insane. And all we did was swap a turbo and throw the tune on. Also shows what a larger turbo does because even though we lost just a little bit of the spool up, you gain it at the top end. Right. And if we go over here to uh, about 6,500 RPM, uh, roughly, you're at 420 and uh, 502, so almost a you know 80 wheel horsepower jump at 6,500 RPM just by swapping the turbo with the exact same fuel. That is insane. And literally from about 4,500 on, that's when this car is just gonna take off versus the stock turbo. So for customers looking for a nice, good pump gas only tune, yeah. this is where the Pure 800 turbo upgrade um, makes the most sense because you're literally not losing very much on the low end, which these cars are jumpy to begin with, hitting so hard at the, at the start. Um, that takes a little bit of that away. Yeah. You're not really losing anything else as far as torque related power, but you're gaining a ton of power, power, up, power top. up top. And yeah. you don't even need to do anything except swap the turbo and do the uh, 93 custom tune for the Pure 800. Usually it takes a few runs to kind of dial it in like this, but uh, we have been working with Fabian um, on these tunes on a couple other customer cars. And uh, so we already have a good baseline to work with. This is why uh, we get some amazing results right out of the bat. Things are getting better and better. Okay. So this is the this is actually the old E50 tune, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. So it says E30, but it was more like a E40, yeah. E50. Now we are officially making. We're at 510 now, so we are officially making more on pump uh, with my Pure 800 than on E50 with my stock turbo. Just crazy, dude. And again, you can see that that number is also the max power. Right. But at 6,500 RPMs again, 
you jumped from 445 to 510 yeah. wheel horsepower. So that is, again is the Pure 800 doing the work on the top end. Yeah. So once you do E50 mm -hmm. with the Pure 800, yeah. you should be able to pick up this torque and then some, plus also raise the top end, which again will outdo the stock turbo by a good margin. Yeah, so the E50 is gonna be the ticket with the Pure 800. That's really gonna allow us to make up where we lose some of this torque. But yeah, so as you guys can see, we are now making 510 and 503 on my pump gas daily tune. So when I'm going to get my latte in the morning, I'm making 510 horsepower. <laughs> or I'm going to Target, I'm making 510. You might actually be making more because it sure as heck it could be 101 degrees. Yeah, that's true. I mean, this is, you guys got to understand, this is a big, this 101 degree temperatures inside here right now is really, really killing us. Yeah. And almost 40% humidity. I mean, it's yeah. definitely uh, it's, it's, uh, not good dino weather. No, definitely not. <laughs> and also, uh, just to note, we're probably around 22 uh, pounds of boost. I know it says 24, but it's a little bit off. So we're probably more, the, the logs that we saw showed about 22. Yeah, versus the logs, dino can show about 1 to 2 PSI off on its measurements yeah. with a, a boost versus uh, the, the data logs that okay. we get. So uh, cool. it's good to clarify that. Really excited to get in here tomorrow and pump out the E50 and see what we're making then. But we do want to take, you know, one night, one day of me taking this out on the road and kind of seeing how it feels, um, you know, not being on a dyno. That's the second half of this is really getting out there and driving the car to make sure you can actually drive it on the street. You know, this is the complaint of a lot of customers when they do get a file on their car. Uh, many times the wide open throttle tuning is spot on because it's done on the dyno and everything's dialed in. But as soon as you get on the street, you can run into issues. These cars are very sensitive with their transmissions. You can get driveline fault codes, this, that, etc. And uh, you know, a lot of the time that we spent is street tuning these cars as well to get these tunes dialed in. So you know, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that most people don't realize that goes into the making of these tunes in order for them to be so good when uh, we finally flash them onto a customer car. It's good to know that we, we try our best to do both. And I mean, we're talking sometimes as many as like 19 revisions yeah. where we'll take a car, dyno it, put it on the street, do runs, make sure everything checks out before we're 100% sure that this tune is good to go. That's a lot of extra time, a lot of extra labor, but that's what really it takes to do a good, solid tune like that. So tonight I gotta do some testing, some road testing, because part of this is really just to make sure that the car drives well on the street too. Dude, it sounds absolutely insane. Super happy with this, man. Like really happy with the guys over at MHD and Fabian over at Pure Boost, man. They've done such a good job with these tunes. Two pulls on the dyno. That was it, and we're dialed in. that not too concerned about that that's actually probably good. right about right it's probably gonna be right at uh, just about e30 yeah I think so too. it drops right back down yeah. all right so just to update you guys we've had the car on the dyno uh, the majority of the day and we've done I don't know 10 11 dyno pulls on this thing we're generating this e blend file from nothing so we're starting the whole process over the 93 pump file we kind of already had something set up but this one is completely from nothing so we are, we're, we're looking good. I didn't film all the earlier stuff because I wanted us to get to a point where it started getting good, and then I would start filming. Excited to show you guys what we got in store. The 
proper level of spice. <laughs> you guys hear how that sounds? Unbelievable. All right, you guys, so 14 pulls later, and we ended up with a uh, final result here. We're gonna show you guys, talk a little bit about it. So just to go over everything, it is the same temps as yesterday, about 100 degrees, uh, max power, we made 560 to the wheels, max torque 622, boost is around 26 pounds. Super happy with this. Um, it took us pretty much all day, going back and forth and, and really making sure that this tune was was good and that we were both happy with it. Yeah, this is um, another really good result. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we had not uh, tuned a Pure 800 with an E-Blend yet using uh, Fabian with Pure Boost and uh, the MHD tuning here. That was the goal with this setup to see exactly how much power the Pure 800 could make on a E30 blend. Actually ended up being right about E35, so we're about four or five points higher than official E30, but Again, this ended up being the final result. I think in cooler temps, we would have actually see a little bit more power. Sure. It's just really hot and really humid today, yeah. mid-August in good old Charlotte, NC, is that's what yeah. it's like here. But uh, the end result speaks for itself. This hasn't even been put on the street yet, so we yeah. still need to do some street testing, make sure everything feels good. We're not running into driveline malfunction issues or anything else like that. It's fantastic. I mean, getting over 600 wheel torque and, you know, in and up, mid to high 500s on just a turbo and fueling with no additional port injection or meth injection or any anything else is uh really solid so that was the big piece that we were looking for we're obviously not running meth on this car uh, he's got his shop supra and a few others that we've done here that did run meth so we had that data um, that's why we didn't go right into port we didn't do any meth we wanted to make sure that we could get a good e-blend tune with just the pure 800 and kind of have that data for people who are wondering or interested in getting the same package when they come here they do mhd they do the pure 800 they kind of know what to expect the end result is exactly what we were hoping to see um mm -hmm. with with this setup and this is something that we can offer for any customer who wants mm -hmm. to come in wants to bring in a car to do a pure 800 or possibly even a pure 850 turbo install mm -hmm. and uh get one of these custom tunes with mhd platform literally flashed yeah. to the car and uh and out the door so this yeah. this is all the work that we had to do to get this done you know yesterday yeah. we kind of had we kind of had a tune file already ready for us ironed out a little yeah. bit to fine tune it with my car but this one we had to kind of start it from scratch yeah. and make it to what it is now it took yeah. all day to get this this right yeah this was about a six hour dyno session yeah. for people who want to know what goes into creating a custom tune like this basically from scratch when we don't have anything to go by. Mm -hmm. um, like he was saying, we already had the data for the 93 Pure 800. Mm -hmm. We were able to work off that. And literally within two pulls, the car was done yesterday. Mm -hmm. So once we have these tunes developed with mm -hmm. uh, you know Fabian at Pure Boost, the MHD guys yeah. who work with us and have to give a big shout out to them again. Thank you so much yeah, for everything for that you do because you know, Fabian, it's six hours ahead here. We're already, what time is it? Like uh, four, four yeah, o'clock. So, you know, they, they're, they're working hard to produce these for us. Yeah. And then we can in turn offer these to other customers who are interested mm, yeah, it's and it's just awesome stuff. So we got two really good files now. I have a really good pump gas tune file. I have a really good e-blend file. And I'm just gonna switch back and forth between these two um, tunes. And that's really all I need for the style of driving that I do. However, we're gonna go port now. There's always more. <laughs> there's always more. <laughs> so those of you, I know there's gonna be some people in the comments talking about axles and stuff. Um, we actually just ordered our axles. So we're gonna have built axles in both the shop Supra and my Supra. He actually just threw the Pure 800 into his car while we were doing all this. So now he's, he's gonna be right up there with me. Yeah, and uh, that was actually one of the things I wanted to touch on too. So for mm -hmm. customers who still wanna stick with stock turbo, mm -hmm. the stock turbo tune that we had on the E50 blend plus the meth injection was very close to these numbers that we're producing with the Pure 800 on E35, E30, mm -hmm. E35-ish. Mm -hmm. So it is still attainable, even though the Pure 800 does still make a little bit more top end power that we're seeing right now, you can still get similar power numbers with meth injection, stock turbo with bolt-ons mm -hmm. um, with an E50 blend. Why don't we show them a little comparison data? Your 93 Octane Pure 800 tune that we did yesterday versus the E35 blend tune on Pure 800 today. Yeah, so you guys can see, and we're yeah. working with pretty much identical heating situations. I mean, it's, it's been very yeah. hot, very hot these past two days. 
and hopefully this will smooth out a little bit once the car has been driven the car yeah. has not even gotten off the dyno yet to do any driving for it to adapt so mm -hmm. uh, we want that so um, as you guys can see on pump 510 on e30 560 pump 503 torque E30, 622 torque. Personally, I'm very, very, very happy with both of these maps. Um, I think these are gonna be perfect for the style of driving that I do and everything that I want out of this car with this setup. Um, I won't have this setup for very long, to be honest with you, because we're gonna be doing, we're jumping right into port injection, probably maybe even next week. We're gonna see these change a little bit, but uh, overall, these are really, really good numbers. And this is kind of what you can expect with this setup if you decide to go period 100 and you don't wanna run meth on your Supra. So, um, yeah, anything else to add, John? Hopefully we can bring the car back in when temperatures cool back down. <laughs> you know, just from personal experience, mm -hmm. anything 100 plus in the shop just sucks the life out of the car. Yeah. Uh, you know, we can be down 10, 20 wheel horsepower. Mm -hmm. I mean, the humidity is also, it's dropped now, but it was as much as 50% earlier, yeah. earlier today. Mm -hmm. And that also um, does not help with, uh, you know, making power. All right, you guys, so there you have it. Long waited video with the Pure 800. Super happy with the results. I'm going to leave all of CES's information down below if you guys need anything as well as the Pure 800. Huge shout out to Fabian over at Pure Boost. Huge shout out to MHD. Huge shout out to CES. Huge shout out to Pure Turbos. Huge shout out to Keys Motorsports for supplying the Pure Turbos. Anything and everything will be linked down below. Oh my god, the torque is insane. So that's like a 40 roll. Let's do it again. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Holy shit, bro. That 600 plus torque is like stupid it's stupid how hard that puts you back but that top end horsepower is so good with this turbo man like it just keeps pulling and keeps pulling the stock turbo you can just feel it just kind of like shit the bed at a certain point and that's where i would lose any races that i would lose would be up top the cars would just slowly pull on me not no mo not no mo <laughs> this is unreal dude i'm like freaking out <laughs> it's crazy. All right, 40 roll. Oh my God. Holy shit. Okay, everyone chill, everyone chill, everyone chill. Dude, I have goosebumps. Like, that is crazy. That is insane how fast that is. <laughs> oh my god i'm like in love with this car all over again this is insane dude it's so good like it, it pulls so hard i'm blown away right now oh my god dude i'm like literally i have goosebumps like this shit is insane you know this is the fastest car i've ever owned so like dude Coming from a 328, you guys, like, this feels crazy to me. <laughs> and I've been in some pretty fast cars, dude. This car feels mental. Wow. Oh, dude, I'm so happy with this. So this is the biggest part, man. Like, you can post your dyno numbers, and that's all fine and cool, but show me the car driving on the street and driving well. And that is such an important part of it that um, a lot of people just don't don't show. And if you're not out there driving the car on the street and it's not performing well, the dyno numbers are irrelevant. Like they're just meaningless. Like you should be able to drive the car. Dude, it's, it's so crazy. Like the spooling, all the sounds that are going on and like how fast it is, dude, it's unbelievable. Like it's such a crazy package. All right, man. it is it's so much faster than the stock turbo <laughs> so much faster 
the cool thing is once you start getting up top it just keeps going like that is that's the part that it was lacking before like this car did so well in the low end but then you just lost it all up top any race that i would lose it would typically be against a car with a larger turbo like an upgraded turbo and they would just ease up on me on on the top end i would jump them right away from the start and then they would just eat me up but being able to feel that top end oh my god dude it's amazing it feels so good oh was, i'm so hyped you guys like dude this is this is fucking awesome I'm so happy with the outcome of this. And we're not even done. We're about to do port, baby. Dude, once we go into port, it's game over. Like, we're talking close to a nine second car here, you guys. Nine seconds in the quarter. Good traction once the axles come in. Like, we're talking nine second car. So we're for sure, we are for sure mid to low tens right now. For sure, without question. You guys remember the shop Supra, John Supra. He was making less power and less torque than me on the stock turbo with meth and he was able to put down a 10.5. With a good reaction time, good driving, we are for sure in low 10s. All right, we're gonna do one more pull here just cause I can't get enough of it, dude. This, this is like a drug right now. Damn, I wanna race someone. <laughs> Took so long, like so much work to get to this point, you guys. Like, <laughs> oh man. Like getting these tunes right and just making sure that things are perfect on all fronts. It's just, uh, it's such an art craft. Like, it's such an art. Here we go. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> so crazy. Dude, 560 to the wheels on the street is a ton of power. 620 torque? is a ton of torque. From what I've owned and experienced throughout all my cars, this is the craziest and the most hectic setup I've ever had. But most importantly, dude, the car drives so good. Like I'm so happy with both of these maps. It's been a long couple of days, but I'm telling you guys, man, you want a good package. You want to make really good power reliably with a simple setup, pure 800, e-blend tune, send it. I think methanol injection is also a fantastic solution to making really good power if you're okay with managing methanol. You know what I mean? Like certain people just don't want to deal with that. And that's really why I wanted to make this video for you guys with just the Pure 800 and just these two maps, a 93 pump gas tune and an E30 blend tune. And I think for the majority of people, that's really all they're going to need. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you for hanging out. Really happy with everything, man. This car, dude, it's come so far come so far and we're only going farther get ready man it's gonna be a good ride see you guys in the next one peace out